Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to run an operation after a workflow completes by using the Power Center's Web Service Hub feature. Uh, we have an application or a job which might be within or outside Informatica whose next step depends on the execution of a Power Center's workflow. And we want to use the web services available through Power Center to tackle this problem. A quick refresher about web services in Power Center. Uh, the web service hub just lets you expose Power Center metadata and data integration functionalities as web services. You have two flavors, two options available. The first one is available with your standard Power Center license, uh, which is called Batch Web Services. And this lets you uh, expose integration service processes and repository service metadata as web service operations. You have also real-time web services. You need an additional license for this. And this lets you expose a Power Center workflow as a web service. Let's have a quick look at the demo and we need to access the um, admin console from there the web service the service URL give you, gives you access to the uh, web service console you can see the two options real-time web services batch web services we are not going to touch the real-time web services today we are just going to focus on the uh, batch web services, specifically the integration web service. Uh, we are not going to create uh, a web service client uh, either. What we are going to do, we are going to use this try it feature, which is, so to speak, uh, um, a SOAP web service client embedded in the, um, in the web service provider which is useful for demonstration purposes as today and it's also useful for troubleshooting purposes. The step-by-step -step is first login, then we get a session ID, uh, so we log in uh, to the web service provider. We get a session ID, we use that session ID in this case to start our workflow, but that workflow um, might be already running so the second step is an optional step and third and last step we run an operation to check whether that workflow is still running or not our workflow is not running so let's go back to the web service uh, hub let's do login first we need some information here which I have here available so we need the repository name the repository domain name then the repository name then we need the username and the password username space is not necessary since by default it's native so we get this session ID we take this session ID and we use it to start our workflow. Session ID goes here and we need the folder name, we need workflow name, the request mode which is normal, the domain name, okay the domain name, the service name is the integration service name, in our case is IS1 and I think we have everything to start the workflow. Okay, we got back our run ID, which is 49. So we need to remember this number and we can also check in workflow no monitor. That this, the, our workflow is actually running. And as I've said, this is not, uh, this is an optional step here. So this workflow will run for, uh, will be running for two minutes. Uh, so we have, one and a half minutes to complete the next step in this case so just to, to see the behavior so we go to the operation I wanted to show you uh, which is called wait till workflow complete and again we need our session ID 
folder name workflow name here we have the workflow ID the request mode is still normal okay, so let's go to domain name service name it's ES1 I think we have everything and we can start it so in this case this is just waiting so this operation is just waiting for our workflow to complete so it's still going to take some time around 40 seconds to to complete uh, of course all the operations I've done manually here so copy paste specific values you will have to implement this on the on the client side um, as, as I said this is we are not creating a client here an actual soap uh, client the documentation uh, provides examples about how to create clients using Java or C sharp so you can refer to documentation for uh, specific uh, implementation okay the workflow succeeded so let's go back as you see you can see that we've got a successful SOAP response and in this case if you had implemented this on the client side you would be able to say okay this is a successful response we can go ahead with the next step now if, if I run this again right now we know that workflow it's not running and in fact we get a SOAP response with uh, SOAP failure uh, the fault string and a specific error code and so this this is something you need to implement on the on the client side so um, we've seen how to do this using web services an alternative to using web services might be using um, a file watcher strategy in that case you can have an even wait task or a command task uh, in your power center job which creates a file in your file system and then you need to have your application or job to check that file and see if it's still there uh, once it's not there anymore that means that the power center jobs um, terminated and was able to delete that file so you can go ahead with the next step but we decided to use a service based approach by leveraging uh, SOAP uh, standard, the SOAP protocol, which is an open web standard, uh, and by using a feature which is available with your standard power center uh, license. So, this approach it's, is a more formal approach compared to a file watcher approach, uh, for which you should also implement an ad hoc solution and you should also manage the access to the OS resources uh, uh, at the operating system level or at the storage appliance level in case you are using a shared file system so this is the the formal approach as I've said um, the our documentation allows you to get information you can access our documentation directly from docs.informatican.com the web service provider guide is your guide for uh, this specific uh, feature you have all the operations uh, explained and then the same guide also gives you some examples about how to create um, a web client so SOAP web client applications using Java and, um, and C sharp and that's it so you have docs.informatica.com the web service provider guide you have also a thread in stack overflow which um, is related to what we've seen today so that's that's all that's also a useful resource if you want to uh, refer to that or um, ask additional questions and and that's all for today thank you